The Aesir fortification building set's been out for a little while now, and we've all been building our fortresses and strongholds. However, sometimes the Aesir set needs a little something to spice it up. Today I'll be showing you 5 tips you can use to jazz up your Aesir buildings, large or small. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, let's look at the Aesir frames. They're pretty unremarkable to look at, though they do lend themselves well to the scaffold style look. However, they are also incredibly useful. Much like stable gate frames or terranian arches, the game treats these frames as both a wall piece and an open tile, allowing it to lift stability upwards whilst also slotting things inside of it. This means it can be used for various techniques, namely trimmed walls and the real windows trick. In terms of functionality, this is a great asset you can use in any build using the Aesir pieces. The basic walls are quite plain, so using the frame to add in trimming or proper windows can make a massive difference. Speaking of the latter, you can also create window walls using the frame and some fences. To do so, simply put down a frame, then a fence, and then remove the frame. This creates windows on the joints, something the set is usually missing. If you need to lift stability upwards to another set of walls, just keep the frames in place. The windows will be split down the middle, but you still effectively have them. Overall, Aesir frames are visually simple, yet deceptively useful, allowing a ton more flexibility with the Aesir set itself, and by mixing other sets in with it. The Aesir set doesn't come with its own roofing, so making a proper choice can be a bit of a pain. There are more complementary options like thatch or stone brick, but you do run the risk of some very heavy tonal muddiness. In my opinion, the best options are things like Namidian, insulated wood and reinforced stone. However, outside of contrasting colours, there is one very useful trick you can use on corner towers to add some interesting roofs. You may have already seen this in my Aesir Fortress build, but it's a great tip to know. On circular towers like these, you can use Aesir frames to build one tile high. Then use regular or wedge ceilings atop the frames and construct a roof from there. This switches up the shape a bit and adds a very nice dynamic to a set that often falls into a bit of a rut when it comes to shaping. Given that the Aesir fortification set is very tonally similar across the board, contrasting colours and shapes is the name of the game for more interesting builds. Hopefully this tip should help out massively on that front. Whilst our last tip focused on roofing, this one focuses on the walls. Big or small, a fort of any size using these walls looks impressive. However, much like the issue of colour and tones, things can get a bit samey in the shape department. To help with that, wall triangles can be used to easily create separations in the wall and add a bit more shape and structure. To do so, I firstly recommend building all your straight walls first. Then remove two segments and replace them with inverted corner wall pieces running into the straight segments on either side. If you're doing multiple wall triangles, it is, in my opinion, best done in a balanced and symmetrical fashion. This is a really simple and low effort way to get a bit more shape in your walls, but of course you can use this tip to transition out into larger segments of wall, exterior towers, or even just extra space for your build. Wall triangles, they're super simple but they add a nice little finishing touch to any build, big or small, and are a perfect way to smooth out any additions. If you are building a larger structure, the interior of your walls can be pretty plain if you don't build them up. That's probably second nature for people making larger designs, but why have just these big blocks? Instead, we can turn this area into actual traversable space. By carving corridors through the blocks beneath your walls, you get a few advantages. Firstly, if you use Aesir frames on the exterior face, you get some nice extra depth and aesthetics to help to break up any monotony on the interior. Secondly, you can use the corridors as a way to quickly traverse a larger build or to reach the top of the walls. Thirdly, you can use this new space to include workstations, storage, or small decorative areas to build on the aesthetics of your base. Internal corridors are very simple, and aesthetically, they can do a lot of shape breaking on the interior if you choose to do so. However, they also have a functional use by opening up a ton of possibilities for your base, especially with the next tip. The final tip for today is pattern breaking. 
As much as I love the ACR set, it does kind of encourage bad habits of having long, uninterrupted stretches of wool. There's a few tips in here that do serve to break up a bit of that, but this tip is a more general one that will better serve those walls on a larger scale. The idea of pattern breaks is pretty self-explanatory. If an uninterrupted wall is the pattern, then the breaks are the things we introduce to the wall to separate from the general shape. One easy way to do this is simple guard towers that sit in line with the wall. A 2x2 two two generally should be enough. Usually, I'd do anything to avoid just having tall rectangular boxes, however when compared to the wall it provides a nice degree of separation and a change of shape. You also open up some extra space on the interior for workstations or storage as I mentioned in the last tip. Of course, we can go further still. Rather than just a box, buttress designs work well to introduce an even deeper degree of shape change and wedge sections on the bottom act as effective footers. Additionally, you can pattern break atop the walls too. Adding levels and layers to walls on larger builds can help to add some visual difference straight away, which makes the build feel a lot stronger and more structured. You can even do smaller things like building out some interior corners, rather than using inverted corner pieces, which breaks that shape and, in my opinion, does give a little bit of a stronger look to these corners. There is no set in stone way to achieve effective pattern breaking as there are many methods that will work. Guard towers, level changes, footers, square corners, there are lots of options. However, especially for larger builds, pattern breaks are essential for a well-rounded and interesting stronghold. And there we have it, 5 tips you can use to create better builds using the ACF fortification building set. This set is a ton of fun to use and hopefully these tips help you to create even better builds. Thanks for watching and of course a massive thanks to our wonderful esteemed coffee cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. If you enjoyed this video and want more builds, news, lore and more for Conan Exiles don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Of course also thank you for 23,000 subscribers. Again thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you soon.